Welcome back. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. It's December the 5th, 2019. It's been one year, nine weeks since we got started with the African Nightcrawlers and 40 weeks since they've been in the Vermi Bag Mammoth. Let's take a look and see how the coffee side is doing this week. We had a few more worms last week over here than the week before. Got one right on top on the bubble wrap. Some good looking castings on top. They're good size African right there and right there. Get the shadows right. Get them castings on top of that bubble wrap. So moisture is great. Bubble wrap definitely helps hold that moisture in. We did mix up the coffee grounds last week with the bedding a little bit better. See here, there's a few worms in there. Trying not to dig, I'm just trying to see what we got on this top layer. I'm not really smelling coffee as much as I am that earthy casting smell. So that's a good thing. A few worms in there. There's a tiny baby. You can see it wiggling on there. Alright, so we got a few over here. I'm more interested to see what the pumpkin is looking like. Let's see if we got any African Nightcrawler worm balls. Well, we definitely got some sprouts. Some great looking castings on top. Bunch of pumpkin sprouts. And that blue pumpkin is demolished, it looks like. Oh, look at all them seeds. We got worms. Oh yeah. A little bit left. I didn't pick it up right or we would have seen a bunch all balled up. Dang it. So, let's see what's behind these seeds. We got a few worms. Nice little pocket there. Oh yeah, there we go. But it's pretty much gone. There ain't much left at all. Not much at all. See what these two little pumpkins. If they're gone. They was about gone last week. There's the stem. A few worms hanging out over there. The old grape stem hanging around. Taking forever to break down. Yeah, they're just kind of scattered out. They're definitely loving this pumpkin side. There's a bunch. Temperature feels a little cool. I think it's been around 65 in this back room. I keep them in. I got some shredded cardboard and paper just kind of matted up on the edges here. Go ahead and mix those in a little bit. Other than that, it's looking great. See where the edges is kind of molded a little bit. Just kind of sitting stationary. So I'm going to turn that in a little bit. And they'll keep working on that bedding help them out a little bit. So we've been feeding pumpkin for a couple weeks now. I'm going to go ahead and throw in, I got two whole bananas. They do have a slice in them. They are still frozen. And then I've got 
looks like four banana peels. So I'm going to cover them up. Well, let me get some. A little bit of oyster shell that's been ground up. A little grit and calcium for them. So we got it all covered up. I'm not worried about it being dry because the moisture and the rest of it feels great. And the bubble wrap will help with some condensation. I mean, you can see there's condensation on it. Well, at least I can. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, not going to worry about any more coffee on this side. As you can see, there's still plenty of bedding over here. Quite a bit of different feeding just coffee. I don't recommend just coffee in a regular size bag or bin. You know, at least here, it's so big that they can decide, hey, I want to go eat some coffee or eat some bananas or pumpkin or whatever's in there. If you're looking to purchase any Vermibag product, please use the link in the description. It is an affiliate link. I would appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Until next time, have a great day.